karma is a collective thing that we all, or we're all working through. So like punishing someone for, for ka something karmic, oh, you did that, you hurt your, you, you dropped a rock on your foot and that's a karmic thing because you hurt your sister when you were two years old. That's, that's rubbish. That, 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 that concept of karma I think is rubbish. What I see karma is, is like we're, just, we're understanding more about how to love each other. We're understanding more about how to, to forgive our parents or forgive someone that's bullied us or to be able to come in like to, the, to a, a unity and also being able to honor the, your own individual essence. Like, like, I, like I want everybody to be able to honor their own individual essence, whatever that is. And, and through those karmic cycles, we create, um, uh, we don't shame or dehumanize the individual we honor each individual is part of like something larger, like part of the divine, part of a, a bigger picture. And we're all just expressing ourselves very uniquely in that, that picture. Um, uh, so karmic cycles wise is whatever our, our, our life journey, whatever the patterns are in our life. So for me, like I, 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 the easiest way for me to address that is through the gene keys. So with the gene keys is a system based on the, 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 the I Ching where um, you can you can see where if there's a pattern that's been playing out in your life, you can you can look at one of these keys, the same thing, or a hexagram in the I Ching, um, the I Ching, and reflect on it, contemplate. Like oh, like um, an example would be like, why do I keep attracting the same people in my life? Like people that either like want to criticize me or judge me or whatever it is. Like what what is it in myself that that I'm not acknowledging or allowing, giving space for, and there's a there's a barrier between that, bro. Like, if you keep if you if you're you're being abused, like physically abused or whatever it is, there's some other dynamic that's involved there. For the, for the majority of the populace that are comfortable, you know, they might have a job or you know, they're doing something that's like they're in a good rhythm, they're in an okay rhythm, you know. But there's still reoccurring themes in their life around like either their relationship with their parents, relationship with food, relationship with community. Um, can be addressed in like these karmic patterns. If what's my lesson that I need to learn? Like who have I not forgiven, or who have I? Who do I need to love more? Or what part of myself do I need to integrate to give permission to express? Or maybe I need to speak to my wants and my needs. Like I miss people. Why can't I just send a message? I miss you. I love you. I miss. I want to have a conversation with you. So with the so you're saying karmic patterns are they're a way of just identifying the things that you do and attract over and over again, as an example that you mentioned their relationships, you might be constantly seeing people who treat you wrong and part of you wants it, but part of you don't. It's like, why am I attracted to that? And it's uh, the cycle you go through. Is there also a global or across the whole human population karmic cycle? Yeah. I, know, I know that we weren't always uh, so, um, what's that word? Uh, globalized or globalization you know we weren't so connected but is the human race always going through a karmic cycle do you think yeah i do i do i and feel if so what, what which one are we in now <laughs> i think we're in a massive death a massive death like um like with covid like being like stuck in a house and needing to self-reflect like you couldn't run anywhere like you couldn't run to the couldn't run to the club you know, you couldn't like go get your hookups. You couldn't like escape. Like you had Netflix, and then once you've watched all of Netflix, um, now I'm bored. So you, you're faced with like this existential anxiety, like why am I here? And it's forced people to look at their jobs. Like, am I gonna? Am I, am I rushing to get back into the job that I hated now that I'm working from home? Like people love a lot of people love working from home. Like, like I can just jump on my computer and go into the kitchen or whatever it is. Like I'm. So there's this. I think the karmic cycle where we're entering right now, we're always in some kind of cycle. And depending on what esoteric system you want to have a look at, it can time with astrology. So like Pluto is doing something in the, the sixth house. I don't know, off the top of my head. Like there's always something that, that's, that's going on cosmically. And um, like what, what I see at the moment is I see people coming together. Like there's a, there's, there, there is a, a pulling apart, but I think in that we're really individuating. And I think that's beautiful. Like people honoring in the indi people's individual choice of whatever they want to do. And also teasing apart like, well, like we've, we've, had, we've had science like really like helped us a lot. And then now it's like, well, where's the spiritual component in this? Like what's the, can science give meaning 
to existence. Um, and then, um, yeah, I think there's, there's more veils lifting. I really think it's just a massive shake up of like, what do you believe and why? What do you believe this and why? And, and that's what I'm loving. Like, um, yeah.